for me and my family i want to capture like my moments and everything and kind of just remember how everything was happening so i found out that i was pregnant when i was like seven weeks pregnant i had missed my period it was a little late i was just feeling really really like weird i guess you could say i was sick but i wasn't like throwing up sick i was just my stomach was really really hurting i was getting cramps but no period the night before i went to the doctor i woke up out of my sleep with like just the worst cramps i've ever felt and mind you like i don't i'm not a person who gets bad cramps when i am you know going through that time of the month thank god like i just i just don't get bad cramps like that i'm like oh my god i was just praying like god like i really told god i said if this is what a baby feels like i don't think i want them eventually you know it stopped i went to sleep and then i just went to work the next day like regular but i ended up talking to my manager and i just told him like i gotta go to the doctor i'll bring in the doctor's excuse i just do not feel well i went to the doctor so the lady was like you know all right i'm gonna um i'm gonna go ahead and give you a uh a, a, a pregnancy test and in my head i'm like girl you can really keep that like you know i don't i don't need a pregnancy test but okay um whatever <laughs> so you know did my little urine sample did my blood work everything and then i would just in the room for a minute um probably like five to fifteen minutes just chilling and mind you i had talked to my sister and my mom like before then i told them i was kind of feeling funny and my sister was like you not pregnant are you like how your breasts feel and i was just like huh like what you what you mean like no i'm shy i'm shy i'm shy and so the lady come in like okay well um your pregnancy test did come back positive. I promise you when she said that, like, my my heart started beating so hard and so fast, like. But you, I mean, you gotta stay calm. Like, you don't know this lady. She just, she came in there and did what you asked her to do. So I'm just like, okay. I mean, she got her little tethoscope and she was taking my heart and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm sorry, my heart probably beating kind of fast after you just told me that. And she was like, yeah, it is beating kind of hard. I'm like, yeah, cause you just told me I got a whole nother life in me. Like, what you mean? Basically, you know, at that point, just like, okay, get in the process of just getting ready to take care of this baby. As soon as I got in the parking lot with my mom, well, I was by myself, but I videoed my mom on my phone. I just called her and she was like, okay, so you know what they say, what's going on? And I just started crying. I was like, yeah, I am, you know, I'm pregnant. It wasn't like I was sad. It wasn't like I was mad. It was just the fact of, it's a lot like being a parent is a lot and i'm big on family like me and my family are very close it's just another level of just adulting growing up responsibility like really taking it in for the first time like you know i'm finna be somebody's mom like that still don't even sound all the way right to me my mom said she cried a little bit and i was like you know i'm okay i, I really just cried like for a good couple seconds and i was just like okay like you know i put on my big girl draws and i was just like well this is what it is this is my new life so i'm gonna do what i gotta do period so and then i really don't remember what happened after that physically i remember i was really really sick i was getting morning sickness wasn't feeling well extremely tired like and i used to be one of them girls i'd be like dang soon as you find out you pregnant all them symptoms be coming like it must be a mental thing but i really i can't even tell you what it is because literally just after finding out i was pregnant i was throwing up like crazy i couldn't keep anything down couldn't even keep water down it's this video that i watched on youtube um that was pretty much it was real cute really informative and um i'll have the link for that in the description below so you guys can watch it if you want to but it was just you know telling you how the first trimester would go what you need to do to take care of yourself what you may experience what you may not um make sh making sure you eat making sure you keep your fluids like morning sickness is a normal thing at least for some women or most women i mean yeah like over time i guess i just started to eat a little bit more um i was still tired i can't really tell you how my hormones were i don't feel like i was extremely bad until 
recently when I can like really notice a change in how I was acting and my behavior. Gotta ask my boyfriend about that, but you know, it is what it is. So for me, I was just like, you know, just wrapping my head around being a mom, taking care of myself, having a baby. Like, you know, I got my appointments done. Um, I had went to my first ultrasound, my first OBG appointment while being pregnant. And I wasn't expecting them to do whatever they did. So for me, the first appointment, they got their little stick and they did do a vaginal ultrasound because you know, when the baby's so small, you can't do it on the stomach. But that was the only time I've ever done it. And mind you, I've been going to the doctor probably about twice a month or once a month at this point. So I'm holding my mom's hand, she holding mine. We looking at it and you know, it's a little, it's a little thing. All my information ain't on there. You only don't know all that. But this is my baby. This is pretty much what they was looking like at my very first ultrasound. Real small, real nothing. Like that's what my baby was at my first ultrasound. What the, I can't even talk. That's what my baby was at my first ultrasound. I'm holding my mama hand. I'm just like, oh my gosh like it's something in there like it's really something in there and mind you this ain't nothing but a heartbeat like so it looked like a little we call it a little tadpole and you just see it fluttering like a little fish in some water it just fluttering the heart beating and we hear it we just like it's really something up in there so luckily my family is very very supportive um that's the main thing that got me through it like just having a supportive team having people who really love me and they just like look i mean it is what it is that was my first doctor's appointment um and so you know they talked to me about what i want to do if it's a boy what i get them circumcised they talked to me about um birth control after the fact they talked to me about how i want to have the baby like mind you nowadays it is very optional for you to have the baby however you want so you have a vaginal you can have a c-section you can have I guess and do I mean however you want to do it they give you that free will to do it now um so I chose the way I chose and you know they just talk to you about you know make sure you take a prenatals for this and that you don't want to slack on that because it can have defects on the baby especially while they're so um fragile in the first three months right now I'm 19 weeks I'm freshly into my I'm just about freshly into my <laughs> All in the eye.